Hey, it's Seychelles here. Um, I got really bored, and so I'm going to tell you guys a story. It might be the first out of many, but maybe not. Don't know. And this is a story about why France and... Why France and England are big douchebags. Not that we didn't already know that, but it's going to be a story for me. Even though I love Papa. Anyway, so it all starts out. Um, war is going on. France is being chicken and hiding, like always. And so, he's hiding out at my house. And we're playing, we're having a good time, we're laughing. He's sweet talking to me and I'm giggling. And all this different stuff. It's happy, happy, happy time. And so, we see the French pirates that are carrying letters. And he's, ta he's talking to them and I see a big boat. And by a big boat, I mean lots of big boats. And so I'm like, Papa, Papa, what's that? And so... I point to the boats, and Papa seems pretty freaked out. I didn't know what they were. I didn't recognize the flag. And so, I'm, t I'm um, asking him what's going on, why he looks scared. He just says, Seychelles, you gotta go inside. So I do, but I'm listening to their conversation. I go, I go inside and then come back out, yeah. And so, I'm listening, and... I hear a man I've never heard before. And so I look outside and there's this blonde man with huge eyebrows. And so I'm like, who's that? And so I go out on the porch and I'm listening more. And he's threatening Papa. And so happy, happy time, um, happy, happy time continues, but the man stays there. And he just like not too far off, and he stares at us. And after a while, it kind of freaked me out. My freaked dummy creeped. And so, I go up to him when Papa um, is going swimming. I climb up really fast, and I go up, and I walk up to him. I say, um, what's your name? And he's like, go away. And I'm like, and I was just a little girl at the time, and I'm like, what'd I do? And so, he said... That I was a dirty frog, and he, and I should leave Francis' side. And I said, but Papa loves me. And then he laughed. And then Papa came and put his arm around me and said that we should go inside and eat. And that Mr. Kirkland would, um, would be staying there for a while. I'm like, um, that's weird, but okay. I'll, learn, I'll get to know him then. And so... Happy, happy story. Happy, happy time continues. Old man still staring at us and kind of just like observing. It was like he was observing Francis' behavior or something. It was really weird. But anyway, so then, um, he lives in my, um, in my islands for a long time. Um, Papa um, goes and comes. He's still staying there. He doesn't really talk to me. Kind of avoids me. And he's always rude when I talk to him. So, whatever. And so, we got a couple presidents. Then, all of a sudden, um, I hear France and England arguing. And, and finally, they're not really arguing, more like bickering immaturely. And so, I hear my name come up. And... England's like, fine, fine, but I get to have the next president of Seychelles. And I'm like, what? And so, uh, France is like, okay, cool, whatever. I'm like, what? And so, France gave me away. And so, yeah, he's the reason that I was put through that hell of being colonized is because it's like, oh, hey, by the way, I'm, ta I'm taking your daughter. It's like, okay. And so, yeah, I was really mad at him. And then when I asked him why he did it, he's like, Oh, I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't think that he would ever hurt you. I think it was because he was mad because he lost Canada, too. But whatever. And then, so, France leaves. England stays, of course. He's a jerk. He's a douche. He does all that jerk-off empire stuff. And then, what happens? England decides, okay, we're not going to have slaves anymore. And if we're not going to have slaves, then none of our colonies can have slaves either. Which was pretty serious for me. 
because like I'm har I'm getting all this rife rife rice and sugar and stuff. And we're harvesting regular crops like everybody else. We're going along our business, and all of a sudden, by the way, you can't have slaves anymore, and that caused a major downpour in my population. Like a lot of people just like grabbed their took their slaves and left to the mainland of Africa. And so, I'm like, uh-oh, I'm getting sick, and there's people dying and starving and leaving. And so, some of the people kept their slaves, they're farming their land and stuff, they're like, you can't stop us, we're all the way across the world. Yeah, big mistake. Um, then England decides, hey, how about this? Fine, you guys aren't listening to us, so we're gonna patrol. So, they have, like, these... Um, British policemen everywhere. They're patrolling all the farms. They're walking up and down the street making sure that there are no slaves and everything's tried equally. Which, I was dying. Like, I almost died. It was horrible. Horrible time. Finally, someone discovered, hey, wait a minute. We can grow coconuts for a lot less labor and a lot cheaper and a lot easier than regular crops on these islands. So I grow coconuts, which are now known as the Coco de Mer. But, yeah, so, France gave me away and England almost killed me. And that's why they're douches. Well, the first story, that's why they're douches. Um, leave a comment below if you think that I should tell more stories about Seychelles Law history. Since no one, you know, knows I exist and knows anything about me. I thought it might be a good idea. So, tell me what you thought. Bye.